Hi, this is a fan. And what I want to do is I want to find the force that this fan is putting onto this cart as, it's, as it goes down this track. So what I have to do about that, I have to find the mass of the cart plus the fan plus a weight, just to make things interesting. And we find the mass of that, and then we find we have these two photo gates, and what we do with that is we find the distance between these two photo gates to measure time and speed and all that jazz. And we find this little distance. Here, take a close up over here. We have this little flag, and we measure that little distance for that. That way, when we block this photo gate, which will be measured by this lab quest, by the way, we will find the speed at which it is at this point, give or take a few little errors, and then the final speed at this photo gate, and then the average speed for this entire distance over the entire time that is measured. And if you would like to see the actual measurement, And there you have it. Now all we have to do is take all the information from the lab quest and calculate it. So when we measured our times and speeds and all that jazz, we had to take six trials, three without this weight and three with this weight. That way we could have a clear representation of the difference between with the weight and without the extra mass. So let's get down to business. So what we did with these numbers that we uh, had, that we had some Sarah Crunch here, we had the time that it took for the flag, the little flag on the fan, uh, that uh, that flag was blocking the first photo gate, and we had the distance of the flag divided by the time that the photo gate was blocked by the flag which gave us an initial velocity. And then with the second photo gate, we did the same thing and found a, we found a final velocity. Now from the final velocity and initial velocity, we multiplied that by, uh, we multiplied that by the mass, found a change in, uh, found the momentums of the cart in each point, and then we found the change in momentum and then after that, we found we had the total time that it took to get from one photo gate to the other photo gate, and then we multiplied the change in momentum by the time, the change in time, and that gave us the net force that the fan gave on the cart with the extra mass or without the extra mass. And it should be about the same number for both.